What's going on guys? I got something new. I got another bag. Welcome back to my channel. Got a new bag. Let's see what's inside. Of course, had to open it to inspect it when I got it. So yes, I did open it. I didn't know how to put the bow tie back on because you know, they do it a specific way. I tried to do it, it didn't work. Here is the receipt envelope along with my essays uh, card. This envelope is a little different. It's a little bigger than the ones that I've seen and it's kind of like has some thickness to it. This is just Louis Vuitton explaining to you how to handle your luxury item. A lot of them talk about when you're using hand sanitizer to make sure your hands are dry completely before you touch your luxury item. And then this is a another envelope that has the order receipt in here. So I'll just put this back in here, Let's put this in my little safe spot and lock it up, keep it up, blah, blah, blah. Here it is right here. Like I'm up doing a magic show. Voila! Oh my gosh. I really did get the loot bag. This is crazy. Can't believe I did it. This was so impulse. I think it was just like one of those, um, what is it called? Um, retail, retail therapy. This right here is called the loot bag. I don't think it's a remake of an existing design from back in the day. They said something about this being like the croissant bag, half moon loot bag, I'm not sure. This is called the loot bag. This looks like an accessory, but it's actually just, you know, part of the zipper. The vachetta is already pre-treated, so I don't have to worry about getting it treated. As far as when it rains, I don't think I'll have any spots on here. This is my first bag with vachetta, so I don't know how this works. I, I know that you have to be careful with the rain or whatever, so if any of you have any tips, please let me know because I've never had one like this before. I'm currently using my Passy bag still. I love her. I will be doing a video on her soon on what's in my bag and then just an updated video on if I like her or not. So back to this new bag right here. So it is a little smaller. I chose this bag because it's something different. I wanted something completely different. I don't know what was going on in my mind. I just knew that I wanted something that I've never had before because I was also looking at the Diane bag and the Diane bag was similar to the Passy and my Pachette Matisse that I have. So I wanted something different. It is a little on the smaller side, so I'm gonna have to adjust to that because I always stuff my purse, which I don't like stuffing my purse, but maybe this will help. The zipper is somewhat easy. I can get used to that. And inside is the chain that I am nervous about because I don't want any raindrops messing her up. So this was pre-treated. So there's that. And then um, it also comes with a chain, which is right here. So this is the chain. This is the decorative chain that can also be used um, on your shoulder. So it's a little on the short side. I tried this at the Louis Vuitton store and um, just to make sure that it was like the perfect height. Here it is made in France, right? It is made in France. I just, it's so crazy to me that they don't have serial numbers anymore. So it's like, I understand they have some type of something in here that identifies that it's real, but it's just so crazy to me. And the usual, it comes with this authenticity, I'm assuming, so I will put that away as well. There is no pocket in here, so it's just one big pocket, and the inner liner is a micro suede fiber lining inside, and it's like a caramel color in there. So you can basically wear this bag multiple ways. One way is with just the chain. 
which I think will be cute for date nights, ladies night or something like that. So I can hold it like this. And then also you can put it over the shoulder. I'm going to include some videos that kind of shows you how I wear it. And then when you're not using the chain, you're supposed to let it just float down like that. And then that will be kind of like your accessory, which is cool because it's a multiple ways. Now, this one was a little difficult for me to learn, but I actually figured it out. And so here it's got little buttons. You just pop that open and then you can pull it. And it's got three different lengths. And let's check out the different lengths. So it's got little buttons on here, so you just press the button. Earlier I was looking, cause one of them looked like it had a mark on it, I don't know. But yeah, so here's the length here. This is supposed to be the cross body length. You're not supposed to have this as a length, but I do just because, you know, Louis Vuitton is known for having short straps. I like them a little longer, so I like the fact that I can kinda do it like this. So I'm gonna put this on. Clip this on here. Okay, so here is what it looks like with the leather strap. And then it's kind of cool because you can just kind of go like this. With my Pochette Matisse, it was a little more difficult because I did have to like take it out. It's kind of like a belt loop where you have to like pull it out. And so this one is a lot easier now because all you gotta do is just Kind of go like this and then like that so i'll show you how it looks like this this is the shoulder strap and you know what it's so crazy this is, feels very soft because it's like very thin inside so i like that very soft and it's very light let's do some demonstration for you a demo this is over the shoulder and this is with the leather strap right here so this is one way let's pretend i removed the leather strap and just used the gold chain strap this is two i kind of like the gold chain up against my skin because it doesn't slip off another thing that i like about this big strap is that it doesn't jab into my shoulders my passy bag it jabbed into my shoulder i don't like the thin straps the crossbody style and see how easy it is it's like Totally easy. Here is another way I can hold it just like this. But if I, I don't, for some reason, I do not like holding my bag like this at all because I just fear someone's gonna come up behind me and just take my bag and freaking run 100 meters. You're not going to attempt to steal my bag like this. So here's another way. The thing I like about it is that I, it does feel kind of short, but these I can switch out some straps. I think I wanna get the straps that come with the Diane bag. I wanna get those and see how it looks on this because I think it'll be cute, something different. And that will be like more for a casual look. So that's another thing I like about this. So I can hold it like this. This is the um, crossbody style. And then I'll show you another length that I like just because I don't know if I'm just bigger or if I have a longer torso or what, I don't know, because Louis Vuitton does not make long straps. You just undo this button again and then it comes longer. Now, this is what I like. I like this length right here. If I ever do crossbody, I'll do it like this. I love this accessory. I think it's so cute and it still has the plastic on. I'm not gonna take the plastic off because that's just me. Here's another way you can carry it. So like, all right, let's go to dinner. You can probably go like this too. Just, just so cute, you know? Now the problem is, let's see how much stuff I can fit in here because um, it's on the smaller side, like I said before. So let's sit down and see what can fit in here. Okay. Right, so in my passy bag, I have my wallet. This is a little bit bigger than my key ring, my six key ring holder wallet. I did try putting this in the loot bag when I was at the Louis Vuitton store just to see. It fits, but it's kind of like a little difficult getting in and out and all that. And I just don't want 
any of the glazing on this wallet to mess up. So it does fit in here, but it's just a very snug. Okay. So that can fit. A lot of times I have my phone in my hand, but I'm just gonna see if this will also fit in here to show you, which it does. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. I took my key out of my six key ring holder since I'm gonna be using this bag. I don't think this will also fit in my purse. And there's really no need for this because this will not fit in the front flap right here. See, watch, I'll just show you. Sometimes I like watching videos where it's like, you try, you try, and nope, the six key ring holder does not fit in the front flap. Took my key out. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. What the hell? That was weird. This is a door opener. Like when you go to restaurants, you just open doors or whatever. And so I'll stick that in here. All right, so yep, that fits. I can probably put my lip gloss in there as well. I have Kylie, her lip oil. That, it fits, <laughs> surprisingly. It looks a little bulky. I don't mind, I don't mind at all because it's easy access. And then I do carry my AirPods. Well, these are my Beats by Dre. I love these ones better than the AirPods Pro because the AirPods Pro, I was going into the Apple store like once a month because static noise was happening. And I was looking for another form of, you know, headphones. And the guy showed me these, they're new. They're the ones with um, the flap, not just the ones that go in your ear. They're Beats by Dre Pro or something like that. The other one is over there somewhere. The case is bigger than the AirPods Pro, so let's see if this will fit, because this is a must. I'm constantly on the phone with my sisters, and so they're always in my ear, and I need them. So I need this in my life, and I need them in my life, and it looks like it fits. Awesome. Okay, now let's see if this will zip. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I can still fit something in here. Let's see what else is in here. Stick in here. Hmm, not really anything. I'm telling you, when I'm talking about I really eliminated stuff, I really did. I can probably fit lotion. Oh, hand sanitizer. I can definitely fit hand sanitizer. Oh. Actually, my girlfriend and I went to, we went shopping for the Nordstrom anniversary sale and got some Kylie products because they were like on sale for 25% off. And so if you spent like 75 or more, you got a free gift. So let's see if this little mirror will fit in here as well. I'm trying to be minimalistic, you know, I don't really need a lot of stuff, but I definitely need a mirror all the time. This fit. And let's check hand sanitizer. A lot of stuff actually fit in here and I could probably fit one more thing. And the crazy thing of it is, is that I'm actually going to um, start using my six key ring holder. I'm just going to have like maybe three or four cards and put them in here. And I'm probably not even gonna put my key in here so I can fit more stuff in here and use this so that this won't be so stuffed because I'm trying to go minimalistic. And the fact that everything fits in here is amazing. Yes, it fit. This is really cool. I think that's all for today's video. I love watching unboxing videos, so my last unboxing video that I did had like 15 or 16,000 views. I like making them because it's so exciting. I love watching them. That was all for today's video, everyone. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching my unboxing and then what fits in here. It was awesome. Let me know what you guys think about this bag and let me know what SLG would be good for me. If you guys have any recommendations on good SLGs that will fit in here, please let me know give me your informative advice all right well that is all for today's video ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys all in my next video and thank you so much for watching until next time see you guys all later